Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. So, I believe Zhui was going to tell us something. Uh, perhaps we should Seriously, talk to Hall first. Help us in the illusion maze. Maybe we can trust them for now? Uh, Sirius may have ulterior motives. You can believe whatever you like. I just want to get out of here. That's all I want. I guess we can go with Sirius's plan. It's not like we have any of our own. All right, Zhuyi. Have you made up your mind? Uh, let's listen to Sirius's plan. Let's go. All right, right, right. Team must include Ho Ho. All right, well, she's a healer, yeah? So, uh, we'll just put her in the slot that Locha normally takes. No need to worry, Ho Ho. The workday zips by when you're having fun. Oh, that's right. I forgot they added things that are like, uh, uh, lines that characters have specifically for, uh, if they get added to the party with another character that they know. That's cute. You've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus's glorious fight against the general. They were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together, but... Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to infighting. A powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces. Just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the general. Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Furinox. We can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then, the Ten Lords Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Furinox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Sien Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? <sighs> Why? Must Heliobi always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Furinox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the general myself. Somehow I feel as though none of these, or, or perhaps all of them, are the correct answer. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Uh, we should allow Cirrus to go ahead with their plan. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They are powerful. But as naive as a child, and obsessed with victory, I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey, I'll need your body for a while longer. That's so. Alright. Uh, let's take the opportunity to run around as full full. Uh, as I've mentioned previously, I uh, don't really have any intention of rolling for her. Oh, is there something down here? Huh. Okay. So that's gonna be for a puzzle. I assume. Fury Knox! Fury Knox! There is a vague sound from far away. A response, possibly. Before you duel the general, why don't you fight me? <laughs> Cirrus? What makes you worth my time, weakling? 
I've turned this garden into my territory and made the dogs of the Ten Lords my puppets. As soon as the General arrives, the Heliobi will have a rematch. Why should I fight my own at this crucial moment? That group of amateurs you've put together? <laughs> they are nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember. What a wonderful host. I want it. Then send the spirit bearers under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you when you fight against the general. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy. All right, See? then. Easy peasy. Does that mean all the spirit fairs out there have fallen? What a useless army. Does that mean we'll be fighting our friends? <sighs> oh, do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobite think of such matters as business transactions. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything. Even allies and kin. Zhu Yi is like an actual human who's just using a puppet body, right? Because like Hanya's her sister. So make the decision. Fury Nox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. Alright, what's up? What's up, Zhu Yi? You two, take this before we fight Furinox. This is the Lunambra Gourd, a sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Furinox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also... Uh, I'll look after Huohu. Her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, Please also have mercy on the spirit bearers that have fallen under Fury Nox's control. Of course. <sighs> Mr. Chael, we're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength too. Oh, sounds like someone finally learned to talk tough. I would have believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. <laughs> Don't point that out. It took me a lot of effort to be this brave. All this time I've just been hiding behind Miss Trailblazer. I'm such a bad judge. <sighs> Madam Strayi said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly! You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Huahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I too am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Strayi, you're afraid too? Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will? Of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Afraid or not, we're still gonna beat the heck out of it. Let's go. I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Furinox. And before that foolish Heliobus has realized what's happening, I will suppress all of their fragments within the Lunambra Gourd. So we'll need to activate the evil binding matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdant Terrace and activate the Evil Binding Matrix at its Matrix core. Okay. Okay, so... So now do I get this? So I can, like, go? Ah, I see. Okay, that's pretty cool. What's this? Hm. Hmm. If Fury Nuts is so powerful, why would they allow themselves to break apart so easily? 
The stronger you are, the more you underestimate your enemies. Sometimes being weak and humble is the way to survive. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> oh man, the, uh, the elements I have here are not great. Aside from the full obviously. Who invited you? Like, not the best options. Not the best choices. the point of that there was no point Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. When they keep quiet. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. No manners, huh? <laughs> I'm like not even really using her healing. <laughs> Such a big place. Oh, it's going out then. Ah, I caught you off again. Trailblazer, Quafa, I'm so glad you're okay. <sighs> I have defeated all the spirit bears controlled by Furinox. It was quite troublesome taking them down without doing any harm. How goes your task? We're doing well. We've sealed most of Furinox's fragments. Now, we shall seal the fragments absorbed by the Lunambra Gourd into the evil binding matrix. Once Furinox's power has been stripped, it will no longer be able to influence reality in Fixtral Garden. This gourd is so pretty! Is this what they call a sacred vessel on the Sienjo? Uh, Miss Gwynaithen, please be careful. You might feel dizzy if you get too close to the Matrix. It's okay, it's okay. This is my first time seeing the Ten Lords Commission's exercising tools up close. Oh, boy. <laughs> get her away from her! Her face emotionless, Gwynaifen smashes the gourd on the ground and countless Heliobi break free. She faints right after. <laughs> Serious. And serious. You won. You won. Don't leave us. 
you I'd leave your body, little pawn. Excellent. I will keep my promise. cannot be selected or directly attacked. When any other enemy targets have been eliminated, Cirrus will lose some HP. When Cirrus uses their ability Rapid Gambit, all enemies will immediately take action. Oh, jeez. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. These are devils. I'll crush them all. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, they're healing splashes. Who will it be? You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. are we going to have to fight exactly? I'm fine. Uh none. This apparently. It's quite troublesome. Is everyone okay? They've consumed too many heliobi. We die from exhaustion before we manage to weaken it. And we've still got a chance, puppet. You gave me one turn. Sure Come on. It themselves. There's a fragile balance when heliobi fuse together. You know what to do, don't you, Huahua? Uh, uh, but... But what? Aren't you gonna be living the life you've always wanted once I'm gone? Uh, uh, <clears throat> these pawns are no fun. Why don't you join in too, huh? I struggle. Feed my oh, shit. Let's go, Julie. Not in the team anymore. Why don't you try swallowing me too? Huh? Are you insane? Why are you helping humans? Why? You need a reason? How about this one? I'd rather help a human than a conniving simpleton like you. <laughs> I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain. Talisman. Uh, Ho Ho is also a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. I'll keep supporting you with. I'll keep supporting you all with my talismans. Everything is 
ordained by the stars. Ooh, the soundtrack oh, changed. Stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. You know nothing of them. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Luck of the draw. But damn, I wish I'd known they were going to take away my healer. I mean, not really. She's still in the turn order. I just can't control her anymore. Leave it to me. My turn. Choose me strike. these guys anymore. Alright, so that took out 11%. You know nothing of the weight behind survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Time to suffer. I'm fine. Extremely rude. Who invited you? I know, right? So rude. <laughs> Everything is ridiculous. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Let's begin. <laughs> okay, so, so those guys take out about 10% each. Gotcha. Let's go. A mere luck of the job. Pass 69%. Nice. Leave it to me. Stand down. Now, I feel like you know this, uh, this big lady here might be worth a lot more than 10%. And these smaller ones might be worth less. Of course, that is simply a vibe that I'm getting. Let's begin. I don't know for sure. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Excuse me. So rude. Look at the jack. Please, hand. Oh, I took one of those guys out and didn't see how much it did. Oh no, that was also about ten percent. You know nothing of the weight. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Wait for the ties. So yeah, each enemy is worth about 10%. I think. Who invited you? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we just gotta take out this one, and we'll be good. Luck of the draw. Please and. You know nothing of the weight. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Might take a little bit though. Ah, there goes Asta. Crap. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Yeah, the more Ching Chu I can use for burst, the more I can focus on using skill points with wealth. Of 
Mithra. I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself to survive me. or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Unscathed. Component damage. Ah! <laughs> Talisman. The unanticipated turmoil. That was on screen for I like half a Clara second. Doing. I should check up on her. What the heck, man? How are you doing, Shui? The one possessing Huahua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. You don't look too good. Never mind. I've never been good at figuring out emotions. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon. And Gwenaifen will be sent to an apothecary. Uh, your body seems to be severely malfunctioning. It is only an artificial ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. I don't see Judge Hanya anywhere. Hanya returned to the Ten Lords Commission after you left. She's coming with the reinforcements as we speak. Nice. Is Cirrus dead? No, the demon lives on. They even possessed a young spirit fair under my command. As starfire essences, the Heliobi will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being but they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the Heliobi within. The San Zhou will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. your bones to dust, sap every drop of your strength, and spit you out into the dirt where you belong! Cirrus? Already forgetting me? I hope you're not wanna hug, sweetie. <sighs> your human tongues are no less poisonous than ours. <laughs> Leave the kid alone. Kid? As a spirit bearer, he's already experienced more than you could in a lifetime. For as long as I'm sealed in the Matrix, I will inhabit this body. The judges can stick as many talismans and pour as much enchanted water on this flesh as they'd like. I don't care. As long as they want to save their own, I still have a bargaining chip. What tricks can you possibly pull as you are now? There are many, little pawn. I will exist forever. I have lived for countless years. I existed before the Alliance was even an idea. And once the Alliance has turned to dust, I will continue to exist for countless more Amber Eras. I can wait. I'll wait for humans to let their guard down. I'll wait till the Matrix drawn over fictional guarding collapses. Time and opportunity will always be on my side. Alright, bye. We will meet again. I wasn't the only Heliobus to escape when the creation furnace was destroyed. There are more of us than the mere few in Fixtral Garden. 
Where are they now? Hmm. And what will they do to the Norfu? I look forward to seeing how the Ten Lords Commission responds in the coming days. Cirrus stares at you in silence, and you can tell from their eyes that they are conspiring. Alright. Ho ho. How you doing? Tail! Mr. Tail! Ho ho. What kind of judge am I? If I were stronger, Mr. Tail wouldn't have had to sacrifice himself. It was because of him that I ended up in this terrible job. And I thought so much about how much better my life would be if I never met him. But now that he's actually gone, I feel so empty inside. I really am useless. I've been looking forward to this day for so long, and now that it's here, I... I don't feel happy at all! <laughs> Heliobi don't die that easily. Wait, you're right. Madam Shrei said that Heliobi are eternal flames that will never burn away. Mr. Tail, he... he must still be out there somewhere! <laughs> don't worry, Miss Trailblazer. I'm okay. I need to pull myself together and finish the job! Oh, the Ten Lords Commission contacted Miss Gwenaifen's friend, Miss Sushong. I can't leave my post, so, uh, could you let Miss Sushong know what happened? She'll be relieved. Alright. To Oramali we go. Let's teleport this one. Teleporting to Mr. President. Hey, Sushang. Little Gwei kinda gave me an outline of what happened in the apothecary. Can you tell me more? You explain what happened in Fixtral Garden Thanks to Sushang. Telling me everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there, too. Maybe little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. <sighs> oh, you don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later. Bro, oh, why did those screens go by so fast? Uh, and then this message from Gwenaifen must be uh, leading into the event. Because, yeah, this. Yeah. So, I will worry about that another time. Oh, I can get the light cone now. Nice. So. Uh, as I usually do, I'm probably gonna uh, do the event on stream. Ooh, this video is only about a half an hour long. Hmm. Hmm. I think it could be fun to uh, take a little walk around Fixtral Garden, see what we can find. Let's swap out Asta. She's like the least useful member of the team. Which is not to say that she's useless. Just other people are more useful. Alright, we haven't gone in this direction at all yet. Thank you, Numbi. Oh, is that all that's over this way? Wait, there's a, there was a chest right here? No, wait. There's stuff over See, here that we haven't done. Lantern. What's hanging above the head may not be a blade. It can also be a lantern. Huh. 
Why would they say that? found me. Let me think. What favor can I give you? Uh, why do you want to do me a favor? Huh, why so paranoid? I'm just trying to do you a favor here. Anyway, here's something for you. It might be a bit, a bit stinky, but it's also very useful. What a serendipitous meeting. You and I were destined to meet. Here's a little something for you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. I'll take good care of it. That's great. Everyone loves little surprises like this. No, actually, based on personal experience, there are some who don't. May I ask, why is it that you dislike my method of entrance? Um... The, uh, the, huh? I didn't have any issue with it. Uh, it's totally awkward and not serious at all. I see, it's the timing of my entrance that isn't serious enough and feels awkward. Sorry for that, human. I'll pick a time in the future when it's less serious to suddenly pop out then. Unless you're one of those always serious types. You should learn how to be happy, human. Whatever, just don't make an appearance like that again next time. If someone else didn't like it, you wouldn't just stop breathing, would you? If you tell storytellers not to tell any stories that someone else has told before, they would feel hurt. Or start to doubt themselves. Pity you're only asking a heliobus. I'm Mimi the M, and I'm not going to stop doing something just because a human doesn't like it. <laughs> you enjoy that gift, okay? Bye! Interesting. Oh, wait, hold on, Numbi. What's this? Several tinkling strings give an extra chill to the deserted garden. There's no audience or musicians around, just a solitary Guchin, whimpering mournfully as if waiting for an unrequited love to come around. I have to listen here for a little while longer. The Guchin's player ha hasn't seemed to materialize. Despite this, let me use the sentimental backdrop of the moon to tell in this lonely garden to tell you a story. Once, an outworlder tourist visiting the Fixtral Garden stopped his pacing due to a piece of Guchin music. He heard the scenery described by the music. Lofty peaks, vast forests, soaring waterfalls, and ocean spray. The tourist was moved to tears, while the locals all raised eyebrows at him. Nobody knew what was happening. After the Guchin song stopped and the crowd scattered, the musician got the chance to reach out to the outworlder and ask why he had been crying. When the Guchinist heard the outworlder say, Sounds like imperfect jade, I'm grief struck, he was shocked. Only this listener had understood the Guchin's meaning. He had painstakingly crafted this narrative, but could never quite complete the masterpiece, this masterpiece. The two of them became close friends, the Guccinist and the Outworlder, and they decided to spend the rest of their lives together working on this song. It's getting late. Do you want to keep listening to the story? Sure, I can keep listening. I'm sorry, but that fabricated narrative was actually lifted straight from... Uh-oh, something seems to have happened. Oh, some people actually came to listen to my performance. Have you had enough of listen of living too? Uh, friend, you're a real scary talker. I'm sorry, it's been so long since I've talked with someone. I can explain. It's like this. The last person who ever talked to me this way is dead. Friend, you are still a real scary talker. <laughs> really? I thought only people wanting to end their own lives would ever want to come and listen to me. If that's so, then just think of me as a ball of resentment left stuffed inside the Guchin. Friend, can you say anything that isn't scary? <laughs> it's hard work talking to you. The Guchin's owner has unfinished music to compose, and that strong desire to complete the music remains here. And I, absorbing that desire, would like to finish this song too. 
But as you very well know, I'm just a Heliobus. I can chew through the emotions and memories left behind by the Guccinist, but I cannot create. I'm stuck here. Uh, tell me, how can I help you? I may not have the aptitude for it, but there must be someone aboard the Xianzhou Lalfu who knows about music and who can help complete this song. An old listener who self-deleted... Self-deleted, oh boy. Left behind some recording material for me. You take it. I'm sure you'll put it to good use. Hmm. Interesting. won't lie, there was part of me that was hoping that they were going to make a uh, particular I, reference there. I want us to become one. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'll leave you two alone. I see you're having a moment there. Obviously, but hey, poor Heliobot, not ghost. <laughs> huh? Something about taking a picture? Oh wait, is this the event? No, blood sleep that alone. Hey, poor Heliobot, not ghost. <laughs> Heliobi on the run, the Ten Lords Commission has devised a few gadgets. Oh, those vocals were interesting. Ahoy there, esteemed guest. How did you end up on the stage to watch the performance? Please get off quickly. Uh, sorry, my bad. It's all right. Young folks these days care not for opera. Oh, it was opera singing. Uh, it's forgivable if you're unfamiliar with the rules and norms. Whatever, I never get any listeners, so I won't hold a grudge at you. The Ten Lords only let me go around the fixed-roll garden like this. It took me a long time to find this theater square, and I've been singing my heart out for ages now. But you're the only one I've met. Is opera really in such decline? This place is too bleak for you. Oh, good point. Are you saying that I should go into town and find a more thriving theater? theater? Uh, please don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't be scared. It's only in this forsaken place like- It's only in a forsaken place like this that the Ten Lords Commission can turn a blind eye to me. Uh, to be honest, singing to nobody here is really boring. Have you got any interest in learning zooming flower drum opera with me? Uh, sounds pretty difficult. It's difficult to seriously learn the posture. Just the basics of singing, reciting, acting, and fighting take a good 50 years to learn. But I'll just teach you how to sing this one, Wedding Wine. It's simple enough. How about it? Just think of it as a way for me to stave off boredom. If I'm in a good mood, I won't run around all over the place. And if I don't run around all over the place, everyone else is in a good mood, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I'll come back later. Uh, fine. If you ever change your mind, come back and find me then. Yeah, right now I'm mostly just looking for treasure. I'll save the questing for later. <laughs> stinks. Sanctus Medicus thing. <laughs> Thank you, Numbi. <sighs> Can't you stay and chat with me for a while? 
<laughs> Don't want to be alone in a spooky place like this. Understandable. Heartbreak. How intoxicating. Ghostly superstitions? Ugh, unacceptable. Oh. Nice. So if that's why there's been so much leaked intel recently, you're the mole! Oh? Not interested in getting into fights right now. I am simply looking for treasure. Moving around. You're under arrest. Ah! I think. I don't want to be a heliobus. Nothing. No! No, leave me alone. A strange aura. Mm, I mean, I know there's that lady over there that uh, absolutely destroyed me. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. All right, let's get all. No risk, high reward. <laughs> Choose me strike. Wow. They got my turn. Nice. I'll see you off. <laughs> The weight behind oh this crap, power. I should have used uh, or be Lil ult first. No oh well. Eternal sleep, the dead returns! It's fine. When they keep quiet. They got my turn. Yes. treasures and that's not counting this right those are counted separately all right two more treasures Take whoa us home, please or we will follow you home ah. yeah, helio boss barbecue now that'd be a short fire money maker helio boss barbecue <laughs> hey you time to check your books uh, no, no, Topaz, we're gonna, we're gonna leave that person alone for now. Maybe over here somewhere? My ghost spends their days Feeling lucky. Let's wait. Why are you still talking about over here? Go on. 
don't. Okay, nope. Back up here. And then we go around this way, I think. I am your retribution. You sound like you're trying to sound scary on purpose. For a laugh. So do you. Everyone on the CN show is a trickster. You have to be extremely careful when you're around them. So there should only be two more, right? Also, don't mind me smashing absolutely everything. Uh, <laughs> a wraith warden falls for ghostly superstition. <sighs> okay, now I'm getting into places that I've been to before. Two more treasures. Uh, where have I not been? Hey, Cirrus. Did I go this way? Yes, I did. That was the first thing I did, in fact. Hmm. Maybe up here? Come on, Numby. Find something for me. Oh no, wait. I've been here. Sneaking around, are we? Why, yes, I am. I am most certainly sneaking around. There's two more treasures somewhere around here. Why aren't you finding them? A strange aura. Hmm. I swear to God, I've gone everywhere. Two more. Where are they? Where are they, Numbi? Hey, we're Helio by, not ghosts. Uh huh. In order to catch Helio by on the run, the Ten Lords Commission has devised a few. Yeah, I was confused when I heard the singer the first time because I thought that was like there's always this peculiar smell part of the actual soundtrack. 
that like only kicked in when I got to this area. But no, it was just the opera singer over there singing. Okay, whatever's still out here, I, I don't think Numbi can find it. Wild. Anyways, so in that case, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. So I will see you all next time as we most likely uh, go do some stuff on Yurilo 6. Oh, wow. I don't have to. I have so few uh, quests in my quest log that I can't scroll through it. But I know there's a bunch of stuff on Eurelo 6 that I haven't picked up yet. So, next time we'll be heading back into Eurelo 6 for some adventure missions. So, I will see you all next time. <laughs>